Hello y'all, that's Michelle. And that is Ned. And we are... Philippine Dreams. In our last video that we did, actually the last video was the geckos, but we'll ignore that one because it was really bad. <laughs> but we uh, discussed the breakdown of our July or June? Ju July. July expenses. Um, and we got a few comments asking how much money, well, what they said was, we know it's not polite to ask, but how much money are you sending to our family? So we thought we'd just take a little time to address that. Uh, the short answer is I have never sent her family any money. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, that situation is actually kind of rare. Um, if you get into a relationship in the Philippines and you marry a Filipina or you have you know, a girlfriend or Uyab and you guys are together for a long time, um, there might be certain expectations placed upon you. Um, that also being said, they're not specifically targeting a foreigner, right? Um, no. No? no. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't sound too sure about that. <laughs> um, again, when you become part of a family, um, when you become part of the culture here, the obligations that are placed upon the fam all the family members are placed upon you. Um, the way it works in the Philippines, from what I've seen, is that the parents take care of the kids. Yes. They provide for the kids. In Michelle's case, they sent all the kids to college, to university, university. yeah, to get to uh, get educated and get good jobs and whatnot. Um, they made a lot of sacrifices. They worked really hard, um, and they made that investment in their kids. And the return on their investment is what? We take care of them when they get old, and we get a good job, and we earn money to <laughs> take care of them. Take yeah, take care of them, take care of the family. It's actually, um, everybody contributes to the family as long as you don't have any financial problems. Right. And we felt it's more, um, we returned, we would like to return the gratitude of, for them sending us to school, um, taking care of us. It's, you might say, well, it's cultural day or something like that, but we can't really, um, it's hard for us to see our parents um, suffer or anything. We would just want to give them the best of what we can. Right, because they spent all those years changing your diapers it's, and comforting you. And, and the, yeah. Yes, and we, we appreciate that and we see that and we would like to return the favor to them. All right, and it's really not like um, nursing homes here. No. There's um, no nursing home. Yeah, there's no nursing home. So, so basically, when the parents, you know, get older and their health starts to deteriorate and stuff, the kids, you know, take them in and, and return to them what, what was so freely given. Um, and it's a cycle. And it goes passed on from kids to parents to kids to parents to kids yes. to parents. And we, you also got to realize that there's no social, real, I mean, there's a social security system here, but it's not like in the United States where you get like 45,000 or 60,000 pesos um, the amount of money that they get returned to them isn't nearly that extensive, right? No. Right. So it's important that the kids take care of their parents, of their family. Um, family is very important. Someone also noted that as, as a foreigner, as a boyfriend, as a husband or whatever, you're never going to be as important as the family. And that's, you know, pretty much true. Um, that's their family, that's their people, that's their clan, and uh, that's just the way it is. Um, it's our own blood. It's their blood, exactly. Um, so there's no extensive uh, social security system. So there is a certain obligation for the kids to take care of the parents and the family to take care of the pan uh, to take care of the family. Um, one of the situation that we'll briefly talk about is is your sister, and your sister is is a pretty impressive person. She's an accountant. Yep, she's an accountant. And for the longest time, um, she's been what? Um, our business, um, we actually have a family business. And we're doing good for years. I remember I, I, was, um, I was doing well in college back, in, back when I was still studying in Ligon. And, but then some years ago, the business went down because of lots of factors. Like we have fish farm. And the water pollution, change in climate, all that stuff, that was plus some betrayals from some of our workers. 
and the business started started to go down and it's a good thing that my sister Marcar, hi Marcar. <laughs> Peace out kid. Shout out. She's really intelligent, she's smart, she's an accountant and she got a good job for herself and she's helping the family. She also helped me in my college education, she helped me pay my tuition fee. <laughs> right, because they kind of, the family kind of the, the fish farm kind of fell on hard times about yes. four years ago, and so Mari Carr started contributing her money to the to the rest of the family that yes. needed it, and um, as far as I know, she didn't do a whole lot of groaning, bitching, and whining and complaining. It's just no. part of it's just the way it is. Um, she was helping you out with your school tuition and all that stuff. Um, and it's pretty impressive, and that's just the way it works. And now that Michelle is working, she that's her own money, and she can do with her money whatever she wants. And she's helping out your brother's finishing up Maritime College, so yes. and they took away his scholarship for whatever political reason that was. Yes. So Michelle's helping him, and Mar Maricar continues to help him, um, and they're also helping their family. And Michelle has never been. There's only been one time when you when you asked for a loan from me the entire time I've known you and that was on, on your final tuition payment yes. so she's not she's not the type of person who's like you know my brother needs this my sister needs this yada 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 and actually I, I understand enough Bisaya now that I can hear her on the phone sometimes and they're talking money and I know that she needs to send money to her family and Michelle kicks in for she contributes kicks in slime. she contributes to rent and food and utilities and she you know her, she's paying for a motorcycle and all that stuff um, so when, when I actually can overhear these conversations sometimes, so I'll be like, hey, listen, I know your family needs some money, so don't worry about helping out with food this yes. month or the rent or whatever. Um, but she's still, she's part of this, of our relationship and, you know, and, and she's helping out. Um, so, but if you're, t typically, if the person that you're in a relationship with isn't working, you are going to be, there is going to be an onus of responsibility if it's a heavy relationship, a long-term relationship, that you, um, that you contribute something. That, you know, that's just the way it is. You're now part of the family. You're part of the cycle. But you got to look on the flip side. If you're here a very long time, like a very long time, you know, they're the, going to be the people taking care of you when you're in your, you know, in your dotage and stumbling around and whatnot. Um, and, and instead of being put away in some nursing home somewhere, you're going to be on somebody's farm or, you know, the kids taking care of you. So I hope that answers your question um, or your inquiries. Oh, the breeze is finally kicking up. It was like 93 today. It was brutal. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, so her, her family, matter of fact, the one time that... Uh, that we, the one time I've spent money on your family, it wasn't requested. We went down for Michelle's graduation and we all went out to dinner. And it was some little, it wasn't a real expensive restaurant. I think it cost like a thousand pesos. A thousand something. pesos. My mom was guilty about it. And she yeah. keeps on asking me if Smith's it's, fine with it. Yeah, and I'm just like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. And she was still like, you sure, you sure? So it all depends. Um, and yeah, again, again, I hope that answers your, your questions. There is some obligation. Um, Michelle, in my situation, is not the same situation that some other people are in or that you might be in. Um, but just expect that. Um, it's just part of the culture here. It's part of being part of an extended family. Um, if you have any more questions, any comments, uh, any inquiries, please put them in the comments section. We have our new website over at myphilippinedreams.com. Mm -hmm. You can check that out and subscribe to that. Um, you can also subscribe to the channel and get updates as they go along, and I'll, I'll try not to send you too many gecko updates <laughs> or, or bonus turtle footage. But I did get more turtle footage today. Ah, uh, oh, that breeze is so nice. So in parting, I say this is Ned. And this is Michelle. And we are Philippine Dreams, and we'll see you next time. Peace.